bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world. Hi. Well, I'm here. Um, I'm at home and. Uh, I wanted to show you what I had in my backpack when I went up the mountain just to give you an idea of everything I had in there um, and it seemed to have piqued a little bit of uh, interest uh, with some people so I'll show you my dog may be annoying because she hates it when we're on the phone for some reason I have no idea why okay so for starters I had this little coat jacket um, it's uh, water resistant and uh, also uh, windproof, so it was very, very thin. So it wasn't providing me with uh, really a lot of uh, heat, but it did help to, against the wind when I was in my tent because there was some wind that would come in sometimes. Uh, I had this shirt, this shirt on uh, for sleeping. It's just a t shirt. I didn't. I didn't really think about the wind that would be going on up there on the mountain. Um, okay, here is the... Oops, oh, well, that was the Watson's lotion for the bugs. Which really worked well. Except I couldn't put it on my face, so they would bug me on the face. And I forgot to put some like between my leggings, my Capri leggings, and my socks. So they got me there too. Uh, they were really bad. So I have two little knives. I have a uh, Blistex lip balm because I, I breathe often with my mouth and my lips gets really, really uh, dry. Um, this is my tick kit. I actually have a tick in here, but it's dead. It's been dead like since last year. Actually, is that a tick? Yeah, it must be the tick, but anyways, it's, it's been in there for a little while. <laughs> I have a garbage bag which I didn't have to use because I I was alone so I didn't have much garbage I just stuck it in my backpack um, for food I had uh, for supper I had a um, dehydrated meal it was a um, alpine air beef and rice kind of thing and it was real good I cooked it with this my jet boil system and that's the fuel that goes with my jet boil system um, and for breakfast the next day, I had a, it was another dried uh, breakfast with uh, eggs and vegetables and some pork uh, sausages all mixed together. And I put them in a um, tortilla, so it made like a bur burrito. It was real good. A lighter. Not that I really use it, but it was just in case I needed it. Um, a bag to put all my t electronic equipment in it. Because it's uh, waterproof, so you don't want anything wet. Um, here is my GoPro type camera. And um, my two um, chargers. Uh, battery, I don't know um, how they call them there. But uh, I plug my phone into these and it recharges my phone anyways. Um, this was to clean the lens of the cameras. Another little camera I bring, it's like a backup camera. I usually use my phone, but sometimes I use this one. I just don't like the settings on it. It goes real dark, doesn't make really nice pictures. I have to edit with Photoshop. Um, this is my phone charger, batteries that fit in my little headlamp. I love my headlamp. A little pair of socks that I didn't really use. I just kept my other socks. Uh, my Osprey 2.5 hydro Hydraulics... LT um, hydration pack um, yeah that was amazing I really loved it it has a little um, magnet on it and uh, you can actually it clips onto your backpack so when when you let it go it goes right like right there where it's clipped on um, I had two smart water bottles they are one liter each but they're so skinny they really go well in your backpack on the side pockets. Backpackers for the AT use these most of the time. Usually for water I would have brought uh, a filtration system to filter the water but 
they didn't have any water on top of the mountain, so I couldn't do that. That would have been a waste of space and weight. So I just brought water, these two bottles, and my 2.5 liter here. That was full when I went up. I used uh, nearly uh, two liters, maybe a little bit less of two liters to go up. Okay, so this is a, this I did not use, but I brought it. It's a little, this I use, it's my spork. My first aid kit. This is a little pad that you open up. Real cheap, I bought, got it online real cheap. I think it was like two bucks, but at least you're not sitting on rocks or anything. A little bit more comfortable. Um, this was the map, but I didn't really need it. Um, this is a trowel and the toilet paper because the trowel is used if you have to do a number two. You dig like at least six inch a hole in the ground and you do what you got to do and you fill it back out again. So, toilet paper. I didn't have to because I rushed down the, the mountain uh, early uh, Sunday morning to, in case I had to do anything. <laughs> there was too many people up there to find a space that was uh, quiet <laughs> to do my do. Okay, here's the Purell. I attach it to my bag. So each time uh, I feel that my hands are dirty, I just put some on my hands. This is my little pillow that I sleep on. I usually put my buff around it so it uh, stays put. Because if not, they flip and flop everywhere. Very, very light. I mean, uh, I blew it up for to show you. But uh, when it's not blown up, it's maybe the size of the map here. Maybe this size when it's all blown up. So it's not very big. And unblown, not blown up. Here is my mattress. It's a Static V Climate. It weighs uh, a little bit over a pound, 514 grams. Um, I like it. Uh, it's good for side sleepers like I am. The only thing I don't like about it, I, and I don't know if it's because of that, but I get big cramps in the thighs when I'm sleeping on it, but... It can be because I didn't eat a banana in the morning too, because uh, I, I need potassium. But we will see. Next time uh, I use it again, I'll check and see if uh, I, uh, I get cramps again. And this is my brand new uh, sleeping bag. It is 1.9 pounds. And uh, it fits, it's a Chinook. And uh, it fits in my backpack very easily because you can see that's my backpack. That's my my uh, sleeping bag. Uh, the other one I had was extremely big, way too big. Uh, this is my tent, which is a uh, Eureka Midori Solo. And uh, here, last but not least, is my my backpack that I love so much. I have it on, it's like having nothing on, I really like it. And I uh, put all my patches on there and stuff. It looks gray, but it's actually lavender. You don't see that many, that color. And I always put a little bit of things I make, like this with the cords and stuff. And just in case you you need something, sometimes it's a... Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I mean, uh, that's the lowdown of what I got in my pack when I went up that mountain. When I go backpacking, I'm I have a lot more stuff because I mean, here I'm usually gone for more than one day. When I'm there, like just going up a mountain is not much, so I don't have to bring much. Uh, you see, I didn't even bring a change of clothes. I mean, I slept in the same clothes I was there with. Why bring a change of clothes? I mean, um. So yeah, that's about it. Everything I got. I brought, I should say. Not what I got, because I got a heck of a lot. The Jet Boil I love. That was one of my gifts for my uh, for my birthday. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, well, see you later.